What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and uh, welcome back to another video on Ethereum W or Ethereum POW, which means proof of work. This is the original, oh, this is this, this is the original. Um, this is the original uh, Ethereum before the merge hard fork. All right, so this is the Ethereum from like a week ago and it still has a proof of work consensus uh, mechanism. Um, whereas Ethereum, the Ethereum we all know, is a hard fork. All right, just to clear that up, last video I think I said it wrong. Um, doesn't matter that much I think, but Ethereum proof of W, uh, Ethereum proof of work, Ethereum W, that's what we'll call it. Uh, still no market cap, no circulating supply right here, uh, which I was waiting for. But apart from that, we have dropped down quite significantly again, 27%. If you watch my last video on Ethereum W, um, this was all expected, right? Because it, it basically is, I mean, the volume is still pretty high. The volume also dropped down, but it's still quite high again. It's basically, uh, see, we already have an Ethereum that is proof of work, Ethereum Classic, that's dropping hard too. And there is some, you know, th there is some case you can make on that Ethereum proof of work should continue to exist. Um, but what happens initially is that everybody gets Ethereum W that was holding Ethereum, all right? And most people, they, they get a token for free that is actually worth something. Um, and most people will just sell it. So you can see people on FTX, Gated.io, Kraken, OKX, Bybit, they all got Ethereum W. Most people will sell it, causing the supply to increase tremendously. And the demand is not that high yet, right? Because we're in a bear market. It's a new crypto. Not a lot is known about it yet. Um, and, and that's going to continue to happen in the upcoming in the upcoming days and weeks, I think, because it still has to be listed on Binance, for example, or on Coinbase. Those people need to get those ETH W tokens too. Uh, most people, unfortunately, are going to sell it. All right. So, but let's actually zoom in because my last analysis, what last analysis, of what I said is um, we were still like above here. What I said was that we were probably going to drop down to 7.5 and then also down to $5. Um, in reality, we dropped down even lower. We dropped down to four dollars, and right now we're kind of trying to break out, uh, break out again. But to me, see, as I said, I, I still expect us to drop down at least to four dollars again. I think there's way too much supply coming in, and I even expect us to drop down to this level here at three dollars and two point five dollars. Market circumstances aren't great, and that huge supply that is coming isn't great either. Before that, I mean, we could actually get some sort of a move, right? You can see that we have some sort of bullish momentum right now. Um, we could actually get to, to $6 and 6.5. I doubt that we're going higher than 6.5. Maybe if, if Bitcoin now goes up to 20,000, we could reach $7. But I think we'll, we'll really stop at 6.5. And then from there, I expect us to drop back down again to $4. Consolidate a, bit, a little bit on top of four dollars. If the market is actually bullish, when we hit for four dollars, or, or not bullish, we're not going to be bullish, but relatively bullish, so stable. Let's call it like that. Then we might hold four dollars, but right now I still expect us to drop down to three and two point five over the next two weeks. All right, so that's a little bit more over of the long term, and I will be covering Ethereum W uh, W a little bit more over the next couple of days and weeks, obviously. Um, but for now, that's my analysis. That's what I think is going to happen based upon uh, some technical analysis, but also just, you know, my, my thoughts on what's going to happen when people get this token. Um, so yeah, that's it, at least short term. So uh, if you do have any questions about it, feel free to ask me down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care today and bye.